first off, congrats on the movie. Thank you. Really, really enjoyed it. Thanks, uh, when you that. first got involved in the first instance, what was kind of the studio's kind of pitch to you for the, for the spin-off? They, um, you know, so when Paramount and the producers first contacted me about directing a Transformers film, I was shocked. It, like, I felt that they'd probably called the wrong number because it didn't seem like I was the obvious choice to, to, uh, to you know, be the next Helmer of this franchise. Uh, the more I spoke to them and the more I understood that they, they wanted to try to tell different kinds of stories in this universe, the more excited I got. Um, and, you know, for me, the, all of a sudden the wheels start turning and I think back to my own experience with the Transformers. and. and and you know, I was a child of the 80s, so I, I grew up with these characters. I love these characters. I watched the cartoons, I read the comic books, I played with the toys. And so I wanted to try to evoke the feeling that that, you know, that initial exposure to Transformers was for, you know, for the first time for me. We've now had 10 years of these movies. How can we make it new again? How can we make it different? How can we give the audience something they haven't seen before? And to me, that was honoring the cinematic experiences people ex expect, you know, the spectacle, the visual effects, the action, everything else, but to really tell and uh, potentially a surprising and, and and really deep emotional story at the core of it. Also, because it's set in the eighties, it does, as you say, evoke all the memories of the the TV show and the and the movie. I mean, was it important to you to kind of put those elements in? Because over the movies, obviously, we've seen them kind of upgraded, if you like. Whereas in this one, we get to see a more kind of classic look. Yeah, it's it, you know it. We we intended the film to feel like it was woven from the thread of of the eighties, to feel like it was shot and. And, and created in 1987, um, and so there are a ton of of nods to to the era, to you know, film and music and culture and the Transformers themselves uh, from that era. But that's you know, to me, that's just tone and texture. That's just kind of fun stuff. That's that's kind of you know, on, on the top of it. And a lot of people won't even get any of those references. But for people who are big fans like I am, and who grew up with the Transformers like I did, and who who came of age with Michael's films. There are layers and Easter eggs all scattered throughout that they can really enjoy. For you, obviously, you know, I've done great stuff with Leica, obviously Kubo and all the other things. When you came onto this one, was there anything as a director that you kind of had to change or anything that you found quite daunting or was it was it quite easy to step from, from one to the other? Um, it was it wasn't necessarily as hard as I thought it was going to be. I mean, I was both excited and terrified because I was excited because it was like unlike anything that I'd ever done before, and I was terrified because it was unlike anything I'd ever done before. And so, but you know, look, as artistic people, you do hope for these kinds of experiences to really be able to stretch and and to grow and to and to try to do something that you haven't done. Um, it was a really an amazing experience. I mean, I was I was fearful, but then I thought back to every single film that I've done to this point. And they were always at that inflection point, that decision where to make something or to or to or to switch gears and do something else. There always is an element of fear, and I think if you're if you're taking a risk, you should be afraid. But it was a, it was a it was a risk that was worth taking, and I'm so glad I did. Um, I go back to the '80s thing because obviously I'm a child of the '80s, and I love my '80s movies and stuff like that. And there's little references to to some movies here and there. I mean, was there any that you kind of cherry picked from and thought, oh, we're going to use a little bit of this because I it reminded me of stuff like Short Circuit and and Big and so many different things. I mean, was that important to put little kind of melodies in from those kind of movies? Yeah, I mean, it definitely paints in those colors and it's an inspired by all that stuff. I mean, we all, you know, all the, all the key artistic collaborators on the film, we went back to our experience in the 80s, our, our, our childhoods, and, and wanted to weave elements of that into the film. Again, it's, to, it's, it's fun, um, but it's texture. I think that a lot of people, uh, certainly, you know, kids who go see this movie, they're not going to get any of those references and they can still have a great time. But for people who are older, people who are my age, people who grew up in that era, there will be a lot of, of knowing glances and nods over the course of the film because it, it really is, a, it, it's, a, it's a love letter on some level to the, uh, to the culture and the film and music of that era. How has it been in the, uh, in the Transformers universe? Because obviously you're slightly detached but still part of it. I mean, it must have been good to have almost a blank canvas to go in and, and, and create the story. We, I mean, we didn't really have a blank canvas because okay. you know there are there are you know there's decades of these stories, and of course there's a there's over ten years of, of live action films that, that Michael has directed, and so it wasn't as if we were starting from scratch. But because we we set the film twenty years prior to the events of the first film, it did give us a lot of liberty to play around. And at the core of it, I really wanted to try to understand who this character was. Bumblebee has always had the the, the deepest and the, and the greatest affection or affinity for humanity and of all the Transformers. And as as a as an audience goer, as a fan of the franchise, I was like, well, why is that? We never really explore why that is. Why is he so connected to us? What is it about him? What is it about us 
that, that forges that deep bond between Bumblebee and people. And this, it was a cool thing to, to play around with and, and to answer that question. In this film, we understand why that is. Yeah. Well, listen, I enjoyed the movie very Thank much. You. So thanks so much. For Cheers. Time. Pleasure. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!